Moving on, the death toll following floods and landslides in the Democratic Republic of Congo this week. It's crossed 400 while residents and rescuers continued looking for survivors and victims. Aid workers found more bodies among the muddy devastation and wounded residents succumbed to their injuries in an under-equipped local clinic. More details in our next report. Take a look. Five days after floods brought devastation to this village in Democratic Republic of Congo, and survivor Paul Ferrishago is still searching for members of his family. They lived in the wooden annex in front here, but given that we haven't found them, we think they might be in my father's home. More than 5,500 people remain missing in this remote, mountainous area of South Kivu province. The floods tore through the riverside villages of Nyamukubi and Bushushu, flattening homes, destroying crops and killing more than 400 people. On Tuesday, government officials brought blankets, food and a few coffins to Nyamukubi. They also donated money to affected families and a local clinic. But the delegation did not visit Bushushu, where the death toll is believed to be higher. This resident, Shamavu Sabajonge, said though the amount of food given was small, it was appreciated because they didn't know what they were going to eat. Congo's deadliest natural disaster in recent memory has highlighted the vulnerability of people to climate change in many parts of Africa. Poor urban planning and weak infrastructure means many communities cannot withstand increasing bouts of extreme weather. The Red Cross believes Congo's floods have left 8,000 people in need of assistance, but aid efforts have been hampered by a lack of access and resources. In Yamakubi, the homeless are packed into the few buildings left intact. Outside, the swollen river flows past entire neighborhoods that have been flattened by boulders as the smell of dead bodies rises from the earth. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.